Nilikuwa nimekula ugali na murenda hiyo siku. Nilikuwa nimeshiba sawa sawa. Nikaenda hadi kwa sitting room yake. You can imagine ugali na murenda. Eh? Nilienda. Nikaenda haja kubwa hapo na nikachukua kifagio nika spread kwa hiyo kapeti yake yote kwa viti zake hadi kwa TV. Hi guys, it's a girl Sly. Kama kawaida, I'm here on the street with my deep secret. Let's agree, we all have secrets. Some people feel ashamed of it. But in this show, you get to point out without being judged. You can either show your face or you can walk away. My deep secrets. Nilikuwa na huyu beshti. Sijui nitaje jina ama nisitaje. Kwa sababu the thought of her, the thought of her name crushes me into pieces. Si ati naongea na utulivu cuz mimi ni dem tulivu. Ni ile machungu dem alinipitishia. Yaani unajua ule BFF ule beshte wa wandani kabisa ule mwenye hadi ukiambia wazazi unaenda kwa usiku wa manane sababu wako na shida gani wazazi hawezi kata huo ndio beshte naongelelea <sighs> Ilikuwa ile design tungeenda parties pamoja tungeenda hadi kwa boyfriend yangu pamoja kwa sababu why not alikuwa best yangu tulikuwa there for each other wakati wa thiki na wakati wa faraja siku moja tu tukiwa tumetulia mtaani aliacha simu yake na kutoka venye niliona simu yake ina buzz kupip najua curiosity man Ningliangalia na nikapatana na pop up ya message fulani kwa simu yake. Si ati mimi mdemnosi lakini macho pia inapazia. Niliangalia na kuona profile picture yake. Nikaona profile picture ya hiyo message ili pop up inakaa familia. Hapo ndio unuzines wangu uli pita kiasi kwa sababu nili chukua simu vizuri na nikaangalia wa <laughs> ushaicheka na si sababu ya furaha nilicheka kwa sababu sikuwa naamini ni macho yangu yaoni vizuri ni kuota na ota kwa sababu can you believe it ati ilikuwa imesaviwa ndudhi guy lakini picha inakataa kwa sababu huu ndudhi guy mwenye naona hapa na picha yenye naona ni picha ya boyfriend wangu Niliklik hiyo message kutaka kuconfirm ni macho yangu inanidanganya ama ni kusoma nimeshindwa kusoma ni ndudhi gaya ama ni nini kuangalia macho iko inanidanganya wala si kusoma siku anajua kusoma kwa sababu when i looked into the number nilipata ile namba sunajua ile namba ya boyfriend yako yenye usawa wingi ile namba hata kama umelala ukiitisha utaspeana tu mara moja Nikaendelea ku scroll <laughs> Karibu macho ipotee kwa sababu vitu zenye niliona Hizo hazikuwa mapaja zangu Na vitu zingine hata siwezi taja niliona Batue jua niliona picha za rafiki yangu akiwa uchi 
na amemtumia boyfriend wangu nikikuot do the guy for her it was so painful like how can a close friend my best friend stab me behind my back iliniuma na nikashangaa nitafanyaje niulize boyfriend wangu akirudi ni mjamie ni mchape nifanye nini i had all sorts of emotions running through my mind nikasemacha tu nitege nione akikuja venye ata behave Ali Rudi and I pretended that everything is okay. Siku kawia sana tukiwa na yeye nikatoka nikarudi kwetu. It took me several days. Days that became weeks. Weeks that became months. Na uchungu bado ilikuwa inaendelea kukua mingi kwa sababu una imagine uchungu unapitishwa na watu wenye wako so close to you watu unaona na nao mara kwa mara. So ndio nikasema siku moja lazima nilipishe kizazi na nilienda kwa BFF wangu kwa sababu nilikuwa na juhadi mali anayekanga kiz nikaenda hapo chini karibu na chini ya mti liko hapo karibu na kwake nikachukua hizo kiz nikaingia kwake nikabeba rangi fulani nilikuwa nimebeba nikamwagilia nguo zake zote kutoka kwa wardrobe hadi zenye zilikuwa chafu ndani ya bafu haikuwa imetosha nilikuwa nimekula ugali na murenda hiyo siku nilikuwa nimeshiba sawa sawa nikaenda hadi kwa sitting room yake you can imagine ugali na murenda eh Nilienda. Nikaenda haja kubwa hapo na nikachukua kifagio nika spread kwa hiyo kapeti yake yote kwa viti zake hadi kwa TV. Ile uchungu ilikuwa inaniuma. Siku hata nasikia unaweza ona kama ni mnyama lakini it was so painful to an extent when I was doing this it was nothing. Na nikaacha nimefungua milango ya milango yake si kufunga na nikatoka ukaenda zangu that's my deep secrets